So we're looking at Matthew 25. We had already looked at Matthew 23. And this time it's about the kingdom and who the king is, the Messiah, the true Messiah, born in Bethlehem. And the prophets all said that he would be born in Bethlehem. So Jesus is was born in Bethlehem. They said that he would be called out of Egypt. He would come out of Egypt. He would fled into Egypt whenever King Herod was killing the firstborn. And we have a, a King Herod who was killing the firstborn of Israel in, a, in the United States through abortion. Um, the same type of thing, Jesus fled and all of the firstborn of Israel were slaughtered. Beloved, it really mourns my heart because, um, well, I'm not going to get into it, but it really mourns my heart, you know, that they were after our children and the seed. That's why they wanted you, they said that it was so that they could have babies because they couldn't have babies, maybe because they were angels. And so they were having the women give their seed to the wicked so they can raise them to be the way that they want them to be, beloved. And this is wickedness to God so that they can build their army of Satan and their fraternities and sororities. Lord rebuke them in Jesus name um, and to teach them to be transgender or gay and lesbian and you know I love all of all people I love all people we all fall short of the glory of God this is not a judgment of them um, I just tell them to believe on Jesus Christ turn from your sin to the living God repent um, the scriptures even before Jesus was died buried and resurrected and after they said repent believe on Jesus Christ there is a repentance it's a returning to God it, it, it's not just um, a, and it's a godly repentance you don't go back into that vomit you know you don't go back into that putrid gall of that bitterness towards God you don't go back into that now once you're sealed in Christ you know you're it's a done deal you're translated into the kingdom but whether or not you have you know, a gall of bitterness or you're in the bonds of iniquity as the sorcerer Simon was. He was he was baptized in the name of Jesus, beloved, but he was in the gall of bitterness and the bonds of iniquity. And these people are the ones that we're talking about. We're calling them out of the darkness. They know who they are. Uh, many of these women who are really just covens for witchcraft, for sorcery, um, many of them claim that their families living together but really they're doing witchcraft and sorcery and they're passing it on to their children the seed of the serpent the seed of the wicked one that jesus said would sow in their seed amongst the flock and they teach them from a child and in fact they do it very young they do things to open up their light of lucifer or their their force uh, they do it through sodomy, through uh, w wicked ways of sticking out the tongue like Shiva um, and yelling and, and looking at each other and getting this dragon energy. There's all these occult ways that they do these things. They use their hands and mudras. These are spirits that are, that are doing this, beloved. These are spirits of devils. And Jesus said that Judas Iscariot was the devil. And these are the ones that turn, that, that, that go into... Uh, gain stalking and sorcery which you see in the book of Revelation of Jesus Christ and the Lord has shown me um, through many different ways and always the scriptures um, point to the who Jezebel what was who she worshiped she worshiped Gaia and the false prophets and Dagon who was a dragon and what Dagon was about uh, the Philistia Philistia and how they took the Ark of the Covenant in to their temple, Dagon's temple. Now the Ark of the Covenant, um, the, Jesus is the covenant, the, the new covenant that God we have with God, and he's the Ark. He's Christ is the womb, basically. You know, we go in the Word of God. It's the, the um, woman, actually. It's a woman that's in Christ. And these, this woman, the, the body, is speaking by the Spirit of God baptized in the name of Jesus and then filled with the Holy Ghost and so and the holy angels also because Jerusalem above is mother of us all so the holy angels are bringing messages from heaven and in fact whenever you're born again you go directly to heaven yourself through Jesus through Christ to speak to the Father so when you're seeding the word of God into someone's heart it's by the heart you believe um, that 
once you believe the word, because faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Once you believe that word, you're baptized into the name of Jesus and then re get the filling of the Holy Ghost. Um, that that's a gift, beloved. It's a gift. Jesus breathed on the apostles and said, receive ye my spirit. That was after his death, burial, and resurrection. His, he went up to the Father and came back. He appeared before Mag Mary Magdalene first because she was mourning. and He was merciful toward, towards her mourning because I guess it was pretty bad. And she really missed him, her master. And when she saw him, he said, don't touch me yet. I have not yet ascended to my Father. And then he ascended to the Father. And then he came back to show that he had fulfilled the mission and that he that he had done everything he is he said it is finished what god had given him to do was finished and then he came back and when he was with the apostles walking with them he was still teaching them out of the scriptures we should never leave the scriptures beloved that is something that the lord has shown me that's very important for a believer a born again saint we're to remain in him remain in his word and hear his voice and his voice does not go away from the scriptures that's why satan wanted to pollute the word of god with doctrines of demons because these doctrines will make you naked before god it will take away all of your your faith take away and then eventually take away the name of jesus that's the goal of the serpent as it says in epistle of jude in lasciviousness and denying the lord who bought them jesus bought us with the blood his blood he bought the whole world he owns it all it's his garden he sows his word, the seed, and Satan comes and sows his word, or his children, the the um, the seed of the of the serpent, Satan, the wicked one. And so you have a choice, just like Genesis, um, Eve had a choice to listen to God's word or to listen to the serpent. And what did the serpent do? The serpent knew the word of God and twisted it. And you see these wolves in sheep's clothing in the synagogues and churches twisting the word of God and actually bringing in doctrines of demons. It's my, if you're a Jew, you should remain in the Torah, the prophets, the Psalms, and Proverbs. And I pray that God shows you that the Bible is actually, because if you don't want to read the Bible, if you want to just stay in the Tanakh, just understand that that's all going to point to Jesus Christ. All of it, that he is the Messiah that was slain for the remission of your sins, the Passover lamb. And you understand Passover lamb. The wicked who do not want to hear this truth, they want a kingdom on earth. You have to understand, many of them know that he is. They just don't believe because they want to have money and fame and they want to have riches and kingdoms on earth. And they think that by deceiving God's children that they can do this because that's what the serpent did. And so the kingdom, the, the dominion over all creation was given to uh, Adam and taken away from what happened in the garden. And that's an example. All scripture is for an example for how we are to live our life in Christ, in the new creature. Because God has the heavens and earth held under judgment until the day of that burning of everything. The lake of fire. The, well, not the lake of fire. The lake of fire is where the wicked are cast into the time that heaven and earth will be on fire and god said that the that the they're all reserved for for judgment in second peter okay there is a time whenever everything's going to be on fire all the elements will burn in fervent heat this is a time when you cannot if you're a wicked one you cannot escape that no matter where you put your food storages or where you go and try to hide in your caves and rocks and dens. no matter what you do, you cannot survive what's coming. You will, the, the resurrection of the living and the dead will happen suddenly and you'll be before the throne of Christ and the books will be opened. That's your book of your life. Those who have their own blood on their own head as Jesus and the apostles and the prophets said, let your, your own blood be on your head. They understood that the blood of Christ was going to be for the remission of our sins, the Passover lamb, the redeemer of Israel. And what the enemy does is they want to take away that, take that away from out of your heart, out of your mind, so that you would follow them. So that you would be in fear and worried about your judgment and worry about, you know, not being saved and all these different things. Um, and to, 
turn you to other gods, other, worshiping other people and not making Jesus your high priest. Now, there's a place for preachers and whatnot, and the scriptures clearly talk about it, but not the way that they have done it. They have twisted the word of God um, in the scriptures to make um, their own deacons and, and priests of Baal and everything. And they twist and add a little bit of this and a little bit of that to take the truth away from you so that you can be like Rome and Egypt and Greek. And that's what the whole world is, is built on teachings of Babylon the heathen ways and God says depart from you know don't go in the way of the heathen and so you see how they have infiltrated very subtly and gain stock God's people when they they have the the Holy Spirit okay they they harm their neighbor which that's against God's law so that makes them lawless they collect information to accuse us in their wicked places they use sirens to try to put fear on people. Lord, rebuke them in Jesus' name. Now, the forces of the Gentiles will be converted unto us, it says in the scriptures. So we're looking at that time coming because anyone who does not serve God's people, that nation will destroy, be destroyed according to the scriptures. And according to the scriptures, um, these ones who do, it's, it's a type of, of um, witchcraft, a type of sorcery that they do. And the scriptures talk about how the sorcerers deceive the nations. We were all deceived. Everybody was under deception, under strong delusion. Um, but the elect cannot be deceived. Okay. God, God's spirit, make, his spirit makes you an elect. And his spirit of truth will show you the truth in his scriptures. The same way that Jesus gave the apostles the, their understanding. Me and many brethren have that understanding from the spirit of truth. And we cannot be deceived by these wicked ones. Now, we know that they are who they are. And, you know, we don't, like, come out and say everyone that we know is who they are. Um, there's a reason that we don't do that. Because um, we're to expose and the lies of the devil and expose them and name them. But some, God is showing me, some might repent. Okay, so that's the good part. The good part is that some might repent and believe that Jesus is the Christ. Um, in Freemasonry, they worship the Holy Bible, this, this man told me. And he says that they worship the Gospel of Mary and they study the Quran. Beloved, there's no Gospel of Mary that I can find in the Bible. Mary was the mother of Jesus, the flesh and blood mother of Jesus. And we don't worship the Holy Bible. We worship Jesus Christ, the Messiah. We worship God, the Father who sent him. We worship God, Emmanuel, God with us, Jesus. We worship his word. And what they have done is added the Quran and Islam, which Islam is what a Freemason believes in. I, self, law, and master, Islam. They don't have the law of Christ over them and Jesus said that anyone who will not hear him will be cut off from the nation of Israel they'll be cut off out of the land so you have to understand that this is that time that God is going to do this this is not the time where you have you know generations coming for you to you know plan your next attack on the people so that you can rule over the Hebrews like Pharaoh did in, in, in Egypt no, this is a time like when Pharaoh and his army was destroyed, but even worse, all of it will be destroyed. This is a time not, this is a time as the days of Noah, so will be the coming of the day of the Lord. This is a time that there's not going to be any wicked left. Okay, if you're a Freemason, um, we, we hope that you repent and you jump ship because you're in the wrong boat. Jesus is the Ark of the Covenant. You have to be in him, not in your own good works. In Christ's work that's the rock he's the rock you have to be standing on him on good soil he's the good soil your heart has to be ready you have to receive the gospel that we give in 1st Corinthians 15 knowing that he came in the flesh and the blood and the water because his blood blood and water were poured out and the Islam that why would you worship the Quran when in Islam there's no son of God who pours out his blood who came in the flesh and that's how you can test a spirit someone who does not confess that Jesus has come in the flesh. This is not of God, but is of that one, look, wicked one. That's Antichrist. When you try to replace Christ with yourself, that's also Antichrist. 
Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. I bear the marks of Jesus. Yes, I have had a experience like the Apostle where I was with Jesus. Does it make me Jesus? Does not make me Christ? He's still the head of this body, okay? <laughs> I'm a member of the body of Christ, a member of the limbs of all of the people in God, in Christ, preserved in him, as it says in the epistle of Jude, sanctified by God the Father, anointed by the Creator. That's pretty high. That's as high as it goes. Jesus said, you know, before he was received his glory again, he said that, you know, the Father is greater than he. And we have access to the Father through the Son. That access is very important. It's by faith, beloved. We have the, the just shall live by faith. We are the just, and we are righteous judges in the earth. That means that we are judging righteously the things of the earth because a king will search something out. And I've searched this out because many claim that Freemasonry is Christian, and it is not. I guarantee that that is Luciferian worship. And I don't care how nice the person seems, I don't care how nice they are, they are wor you cannot worship money and God, mammon and God. You cannot worship Lucifer and God, because Jesus said, I beheld Satan fall as lightning. And Lucifer and Isaiah weakened the nations. So in the book of Revelation of Jesus, again, the kings of the earth weaken the nations by deceit, which is sorcery, through sorcery through dark sentences, through witchcraft, through gain stalking, through images that they flash in the eyes of the children, through putting people in, under hypnosis, through uh, collecting of information and making you fear your sin because they, they are the accusers of the brethren that Jesus Christ talks about. That has made them into serpents. They have covered with a covering, but not of God's spirit. They're covering with the spirit of Baphomet, the goat god. That's why you see in Matthew 25, you see the goats. Where does God put them? The goats on the left. And they receive everlasting punishment. In Matthew 25, verse 46, they go away like Judas Iscariot went to his place. So, this is a warning. Unless you believe on Jesus, you will die in your sins because your sins have reached unto heaven. And it says in Revelation of Jesus Christ that he remembers their sins. And in Epistle of Jude, he's reasoning with them and, ex and judging all of their wicked deeds of all the ungodly, of all the wicked that they have done. And he comes with his saints to do this. And that is now. I'm one of his saints. I'm born again, born of his spirit. Receive the gift of the Holy Ghost and walk in power now, but not my own. I don't, I, it's not my power. It's God's power. I wear God's armor. The armor of God is helmet of salvation. Christ did all that work. The breastplate of righteousness. It's not my righteousness. It's Christ's righteousness. Just like the, the prophet in Isaiah said, you know, um, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against me in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of God. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. So the Lord is saying, our armor, the armor of God, the righteousness is God's armor, or God's righteousness. Jesus is the righteous branch. So you see in the Old Testament with the prophets, he talked about the righteous branch. And Jesus said, it, it, remain in me and I will remain in you. He says, anyone in Israel who does not obey him will be cut off. And these are very serious things that the Lord has said in the New Testament. And he said that these words will judge in the end. And why is he judging? So that they would understand that the law is a schoolmaster and they are lawless. That they need a savior. They need a redeemer. They need the one that's coming out of Zion. The deliverer. The election had obtained, it, it obtained um, salvation because of what Jesus did who is our king of the kingdom, the kingdom that we seek. Not an earthly man-made kingdom, no, but a heavenly Jerusalem, a kingdom that's eternal in the heavens and in us who believe. This is a kingdom in us. Um, still does not make us Christ. We put on the mind of Christ. We become like Christ and, and, and Christ is formed in us. He's creating us all new. That is a thing that God is doing. Jesus says, I go to 
build create a place for you <laughs> he's doing it he's willing into doing of his good pleasures so we're not to cover our lamps as it says in matthew 25 we are lamps we're not to cover them with dead works which would be working to enter into the kingdom or with our flesh works which is going back into bondage with under sin or going under bondage under the law no we live by the spirit of god and every word that proceeds from the mouth of god we live by the bread the word of god jesus is the seed of the word and we eat the bread every day we walk with him and listen to him and and hearken to his voice and we've returned with our whole heart the prophets talked a lot about returning with your heart the torah even even um, is very clear that they have broken the laws of the torah that's the laws of god if they claim to be jew because what we're finding is that these wicked ones the hollywood stars all claim to be jew the the ones out there doing music magic there's magic sorcery and music dark sentences those doing drugs to um, get their light or those in the freemason clubs and you know it's not that i don't love them i hope they repent they get their light of lucifer through some sort of medita egyptian meditation and they get their ways of gain stalking from the book of the dead from egypt now, isaiah talks about the tongue of egypt it will be shut down god is going to shut it down and if they don't stop the fraternities and sororities and the teaching of this witchcraft and sorcery they all be cast in the lake of fire suddenly and they they will not ever get out it says everlasting punishment so don't resist the holy ghost don't resist the spirit if god is telling you to repent repent and believe the gospel now um they also believe that in islam that they are part of islam which is i self law and master again christ is our master not myself Okay, I don't agree with that doctrine. And because why? Because the scriptures don't agree with that doctrine. And if you're harming a child or your neighbor or anyone through witchcraft, sorcery, or deceit, lies like the serpent did, because that harmed Eve and Adam, harmed their seed all the way till today. You know, wages of sin is death. That's harmful to your neighbor. That's not loving your neighbor. That's not holy. And those that continue in that, God is going to remove and cast into everlasting punishment. Because the wages of sin is death and they love the wages of that sin. They love sowing in death and destruction into a person's life and doing sorcery and casting thoughts in other people's minds. Like the... The, the man that was possessed of a legion of demons, that's them attacking this person. Those demons are evil. And Jesus in his mercy cast them onto the pigs. Now we know that there are pigs. And my mom was telling me that she remembered some show where the doctors and nurses were pigs. They eat anything. Pigs eat anything. They'll eat a little bit of, out of the Buddhist books. They'll eat a little bit out of Hindu books. They'll eat a little bit out of uh, Kabbalist books. We'll, they'll eat a little bit out of Christian books. They'll eat a little bit out of everything. They'll eat a, a little bit out of the Quran. They'll eat a little bit out of everything. That's what a pig does, beloved. I only eat one book, and Isaiah talked about that one book, and that's the King James Bible. And, I mean, I do have brothers and sisters who, you know, look at the Strong's Concordance and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm not saying that they're not born again. That's not the, that's not, not what I'm saying. But the ones that will go into all these other texts to, to try to twist the word of God, to make another Jesus, or to deny Jesus, say, oh, you don't need Jesus. You just need Yahweh or Yahweh. You know, not realizing, yes, that it, you know, I and the Father are one. Yes, we understand that, but there is a Father and a Son. And if you deny the Father and the Son, as it says in 1 John 2, 22, you're Antichrist. You know, I hate saying it, but that's what the scriptures say. Um, and Jeremiah and Isaiah re reveal these truths about the false prophets. And they have things like Persian religions, like Star Wars is, is basically Persian, but he claimed to be Christian. 
That is nothing to do with the scriptures. That force is the Antichrist. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil, as you see in the book of Genesis. You eat of it and you're going to die. You eat of the seed of the word of God, you're going to live. If Adam and Eve had obeyed God, his word, imagine none of, none of the death would enter into the world of that seed of the knowledge of good and evil. Jesus says, and the apostles, the prophets he sent, he said to them, discern, discern the good and evil. And the problem was, was they were making evil good and good evil. And you see that in the world. And that's what they were doing with these poor children that they had polluted these devils. And these children are now, you know, out there doing their witchcraft on people you know this this to me is wicked to pollute other people to pollute children to pollute minds and hearts with gains this is evil and and his parents are probably sorcerers okay probably sorcerers desmond's a sorcerer he's a child sorcerer and the scriptures talk about how the young the old and you know the, they have every age in their occult practices okay um so read matthew 25 i hope that this blesses you and that if you're part of freemasonry you know we're we're all about you know do you have agape love from god do you have the truth do you have are you born again do you have god's love and that's what this this whole thing is about i know that it's hard because we're pointing out, you know, these people may have taken the mark of the beast to buy and sell. Um, another brother in Christ has this uh, truth unedited, um, has this channel right here, which shows the Freemasons. And you see these obelisks everywhere, these uh, phallic symbols of Satan. He breaks it down for you so you could see they're not worshiping Jesus Christ of the Bible. They're worshiping the force that Daniel spoke about, the God of forces. They have another God. They don't worship the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's why they don't care if you're whatever religion you are. You can come in and be a Freemason. That's why the fraternities are full of people from India, from Korea, from Saudi Arabia, from uh, uh, India, from England, from, you know, everywhere. These children of the seed of the serpent. They're from the whole, every country, the whole, every nation, they come and they're in the fraternities and sororities, the children of the wicked one. And they learn everything they can about how to be wicked and evil, deceitful and, and money makers and merchants and politicians to use policy to destroy God's people, that God will destroy them. Oh, hi, Bertie. And so understand that these uh, people are evil and that there's a, a coming flood also. There was a flood um, during, as in the days of Noah, so will be the coming of the day of the Lord. The flood that the serpent sends out are his words, you know, coexist. You heard uh, Gaia worship from the Pope. You heard all sorts of different things. And from these people who worship the Pope, you know, they're like an army for him, for the Jesuits. Um, to kill in secret, to steal in secret from the widow, which Jesus speaks against, to harm the fatherless, to use the poor, and uh, to infiltrate and um, tempt you to be like them, and to um, the fraternity brothers, all they haze themselves like a serpent would cut themselves, the demons cut. That's how the false prophets were trying to, you know, summon up their demons. They do the cutting. Um, they also flash the symbol of the pyramid showing who they're worshiping in their summoning of devils. Okay, they're summoning evil spirits. These fraternities who dress nice and go to church. Yes, it is heart disheartening and hard to understand yeah. these things, but this is the truth. Um, and the... This is the end of the world and God sending his angels to in the harvest. And uh, it's about done. And this is, this is a warning um, because 
the time of judgment and the wrath of the Lamb of God is about ready to happen. That flood was already sent out of the, of the devil. He already sent it out and the apostasy already happened. And we saw from our sister Laura how the apostasy, apostasy has already come into the world. Praise Jesus, we're getting out of that apostasy. Um, where is that? I'm going to try to find you, uh, Sister End Times Ministries, or uh, End Times Apost Apostasy. Um, Sister Laura has videos. You can, her channel is called End Times Apostasy, and she'll show you people like um, Benny Hinn, Kenneth Copeland, Joel Olstein, who are all Jesuits, beloved, which is a type of Freemasonry from the Catholic Church and Roman Catholic Church and the last kingdom of Satan is a Roman kingdom and that has already come in so it's we're at the very it's going to be finished it's we're at the end of it it's over um, and that's the dragon ruling over the earth that with the God of forces and Jesus is about to cast him in the lake of fire first the woman swallows up the flood the scriptures say and the woman is not it says the earth swallows up the flood so the earth, which is the old man, which you see in Galatians, in Galatians, okay, we are living stones, beloved brothers and sisters, but we're still in that old tabernacle. As the apostle said, I must put off this, my tabernacle, and, and, and you know, that's what he has to do. We all have to do that at some point. So you see in Galatians, um, and old things have passed away and all things have become new also. Okay. But we see in Galatians, it says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live yet not I, but Christ liveth in me and the life, which I now live in the flesh, beloved. That's the earth. Okay. I live by the faith of the son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So we are living in this old tabernacle in the faith the just shall live by faith you have to believe without seeing like Saul saw Jesus okay brighter than the sun we are living in faith when we pray we have faith that God hears us because we believed and we are living in faith and that faith is very powerful you can move mountains that those are leaders you can say leader be removed you can say um, uh, Whoever is trying to attack you, be removed in the name of Jesus. Because he's the king, as we saw in Matthew 25. He's the king, capital K, of paradise. And he rules over all creation. He rules over everything that's going on in earth. Okay, He's ruling over and sovereign over everything. And subduing and, and um, all creatures, including the serpent. Okay, He's going to subdue it all under his feet and under our feet. They will be ashes and the kings of the earth that cast dust on their head. So if they're going to be ashes under our feet, that means that we're above the kings of the earth, beloved. Abraham was rewarded after, after he slayed the kings, okay, and princes. So there's kings and princes in the earth, but these are kings and princes of Satan. God's kings and priests are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb of God. And they're not out there taking oaths to do wickedness. They're not out there gang stalking. They're not out there doing sorcery or flashing symbols in their hands or the Baphomet goat God or the hidden hand signal. We're not out there. Jesus and the apostles never, neither did any of the people of God. They say they have the Abrahamic symbol and whatnot. But all of their symbols prove that they talk with their hands. And the prophets spoke against those who talked with their hands. The prophets spoke against those with that tongue of Shiva, or Shiva, I guess it is, the destroyer. The prophets sp spoke against them, said they were the mockers. Okay, so literally, the prophets are against them. Okay, that's what you can see in the scriptures. Their ways are not God's ways. They wink with their eye as they're planning to go shed innocent blood or do some wicked thing. Okay, these are not the children of God, beloved. They are not obeying God's law. They are not doing God's will. And in fact, they are outside of the, the um, law of Christ, which we live by the law of the spirit and life, not the law of sin and death. So here we see that in the flesh, we live by the faith of the son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. 
and I do not frustrate the grace of God for it if righteousness come by the law then Christ is dead in vain so it's not by the law just because you're lawless doesn't mean that you're gonna go start keeping the law and suddenly you're saved no Christ is showing you your lawlessness so that you could believe on him because he's a, the law is a schoolmaster to point to Christ because the wages of sin is death you will die because of your lawlessness and Jesus said to the Pharisees who claimed to keep the law, he said, you will die in your sins. So clearly keeping the law is not going to save you. And you, if you read Galatians, you could see it's not by keeping the law. And saints, we don't go back under the bondage of sin. And if you're a, if you're a believer in Jesus, baptized in the name of Jesus, you don't sell or do sorcery with the Holy Ghost. In fact, you don't even get the Holy Ghost if you have that mindset because God sees the heart and what out of your mouth, your heart proceeds out of your mouth. What your, where your heart is, is your mouth is going to speak and your hands are going to do and your mind is going to think. So if you have some force in between your four in between your eyes that is not the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, then you have received another Jesus and you are doing evil deeds with your hands like handshakes to buy and sell with the devil because you've bowed to Baal. God has reserved some who have not bowed to the, to the, to the image of Baal, have not bowed to self or bowed to any of the other gods. Now, the, there are some that have done some of these things, but they have not known the depths of Satan and they can be saved. That's what the Lord has shown me. They have not become like Judas Iscariot, the son of perdition, yet. But they're headed that way. And so they're the ones that we're after right now during this time to give the gospel of Christ to, to that they would turn. Because if you don't turn, then it, it, you're headed to the everlasting punishment. So we could see in the scriptures that we're not be, being made perfect by the flesh. We're living by faith in the Son of God. And the Spirit of God that sealed us, we began in and we finished, we're completed in that same Spirit as you see in 1 Corinthians 15. You're saved by, you stand by the Spirit, and that's how the Spirit ministers to us. And God's angels who are ministering spirits. And they will go and take people who are devils and put them in the lake of fire if we, we say so. If it's in God's will, obviously, it's got to be in God's will because it's his will that is willing into doing of his good pleasure. So you have to do understand that just because you say proclaim something or say something like these false prophets did with about Trump. They said, oh, Trump's going to be elected. I, I prophesy it. You know, that's a false prophecy. You know, Trump was not elected in the second in that election. Biden was and they were doing false prophecy. Uh, who was it uh, Kenneth Copeland and many others uh, these women also that were wicked I, I mainly speak about the men there's many women who are wicked and sister uh, Laura on end times apostasy channel has exposed many women also I will I mainly um, say about the men because the men are supposed to be the head of the woman and these men who have started it, you know, and then the Eastern Star women became worshipers of Baphomet. And they have to have a Freemason, Baphomet, Luciferian worshiper to oversee the Eastern Star women. The man is supposed to be the head of the woman and say, nope, we are not going to eat of that fruit. That's bad. 